Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to fill my travel plan with me and this is for my trip to Montana. A few of my girlfriends and I are heading up there um, to spend some time together and just to um, have a chance to hang out over the summer because we all work in school so we all have the summers off which is really nice. And so similar to the other travel spreads that I've done in the past, um, I'm going to be planning this in my bullet journal. This is from the company called Scribbles That Matter and I purchased this off of Amazon and I'll I'll go ahead and link the um, or put the link in the description box below if you want to check it out I think they don't sell this exact size anymore this is the b6 so my hand for comparison it's pretty small um, I really like this size I think it's really great for traveling and just sticking in your purse um, kind of like a to-go planner but I think they have an a6 ish size that is similar but may not be exactly the same although they might have um, restocked in this size I haven't checked recently so anyways um, I don't want this intro to get too long um, we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, I finished my Hawaii spread here. I didn't end up journaling anything while I was in Hawaii, so I'm gonna leave a few pages blank in case I feel um, the inspiration to journal. So I'm going to start on this page, and um, I haven't figured out yet what I wanna do, but I definitely wanna do a page for my flights, a page for what to pack, and then just some general um, ideas. But I don't even really need to have plans because um, we're all going as a group, so I think we're just gonna kinda of figure out what we wanna do as a group. Um, so I don't think I'll have any like daily plans, but definitely the flights and the packing list have really helped me in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I first started on this cover page by lettering with pencil to make sure that the spacing and the sizing was going to be um, how I wanted it. However, I didn't notice that my camera was not recording at the time, so you guys didn't get to see that part. And then I decided to do a little drawing on this page. I wanted to um, kind of draw this like scene of Montana from how I remembered it when I was there last summer. And I just really quickly did it in pencil for now. And I'll go back in with color pencils to finish up that page later on. I then decided to do my weather page. Um, um, tracking the forecast for all the places I would be for the week. I actually flew into Seattle first on Monday and then um, one of my friends and I road tripped over to Montana to meet up with the rest of the girls the following day and so I was going to be in a couple different places for this trip. Originally on Tuesday and Friday I had tracked the weather for both of these cities that I was going to be in um, but I decided to just go for one instead because it felt really awkward and just um, really cramped having two of the cities listed instead of one. So yeah, I just picked one um, to put down instead, and then I move on to the flights page. To track my flights, I decided to draw a view from an airplane window, and to help me with that, I found this image on Google to um, kind of reference what I wanted it to look like, and then I'm just quickly drawing it or sketching it in pencil, and then I went back in later on, actually when I returned from my trip, to um, color it in with colored pencils. I listed all the flights that I was taking and then I move on to my packing list. So for this time, I decided to split it into three different sections and draw different suitcases and a backpack to like fit the items inside it. I just thought that was a really cute idea. Um, I also looked at pictures of like doodled suitcases so that I can better draw it. I just have a really hard time coming up with like how to draw things on my own. I definitely think that's something um, I need to practice and just spend more time playing around with it. And yeah, so once I finished drawing the suitcases, 
suitcases, I go ahead and um, write down all of the items that I was going to bring on the trip. I did end up having to forego a lot of the items that I listed because I forgot that I only had a carry-on that I could take and all these items were not able to fit in my carry-on. So I did end up only packing like half of the things that I listed, which is totally fine because at least I had something to go off of. There was a little empty space in the suitcase and I found this really cute sock sticker from Fox and Pip so I decided to put that right over where I had written socks and once I finish that I go ahead and move back to the first page um, and I'm using these double-sided coloring pencils that I just found um, laying around. I don't think they work very well at all. The colors were not very pigmented and so I definitely had to like push pretty hard and um, yeah I just don't think they were like super quality colored pencils but they definitely you know worked for what I wanted since I'm not like a professional artist or anything and I honestly have not colored since probably like oh my gosh 10 years ago at least um, so this felt really weird and foreign to me but it was kind of fun um, even though it came out you know looking like a third grader did it um, but uh, it's just kind of fun to color because it's not something I do very often at all so I definitely enjoyed this process. Next I move on to coloring uh, my flights page and um, again I was having a little trouble with the color pencils being pigmented enough so I definitely had to press a bit harder to get some of those darker colors that I wanted at the top of the window but I made it work and I think it overall turned out all right. The last thing I did was coloring the suitcases of the packing list and this is something I totally wish I did not do. I don't really like how that ended up turning out but um, you can't really like undo color pencils so I just kind of had to accept it. And yeah, that concludes this travel plan with me. Um, it's pretty short, it's only four pages but I feel like those were all the essentials for what I need when I travel. And um, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.